back to Sliced Red Deer. It's round number two, and we're about to announce who will move on to the finals on March 24th inside the cooking room. Of course, this is a brand new fundraiser for the Women's Outreach. Yeah, it's been awesome. We've had lots of chefs competing head to head, and we are about to see who takes it home, whether it's Earl's or Sopier. Who basically put the mystery ingredients to work the best for it. Oh my goodness, we had sriracha, we had cider vinegar, and we had ricotta cheese. All very different ingredients, but they both did a great job. The judges have judged, and let's find out who wins. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Find out who wins round number two of Sliced Red Deer. Chef Robert, Chef Pete, you both had to incorporate three mystery ingredients into your dishes. Okay, boys, you had to use sriracha, you had to use ricotta, and you had to use cider vinegar. Let's find out. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready to find out who wins round two of Sliced Red Deer? Absolutely. Okay, here we go, everybody. The winner of round two of Sliced Red Deer is... Thank you. Once again, big hand for Chef Rob. How did you enjoy your time in the sliced red deer? It was kitchen? really, really good experience. Like I haven't done anything like this before, but this is definitely something I'm gonna have to work on. You did an amazing you job. You did a great Thank job. You. Great job. And sir, the sliced red deer champion for episode two. How do you feel, Pete? I can sleep. I can go to sleep. I feel uh, relaxed now. Yep. Thanks, Rob, for uh, not kicking my butt. Oh. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm looking forward for, uh, was it round two? It's round two? Uh, the finale. Oh, it's We're the finale. going to the finale on I made March it, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> I made it. Tonight was, off the beginning, I wasn't really overly nervous, but then closer to the crunch time is kind of like, that's when the pressure added in. And it was kind of, even standing in front of the judges, because I'm so used to being in a kitchen in behind, not having to really worry about anything but my people. Oh, tonight was, it was a great experience. Uh, Pete was really, really good. I was really surprised at what he brought to the table and whatnot, and he's such, a good guy. I only met him just shortly before the competition. You know, I'm just privileged to be a part of this. Uh, you know, bringing back my passion again. Once you do something day in, day out, over and over, you want to experiment a little more. Uh, win or loss, you know, I was a little bit stressed because you know I, I haven't done uh, this much competition, and you know you always put your name out there. Uh, you know, Earl's is a fierce competition. Earl's is one of my favorite restaurants. Uh, they were great, uh, it was a friendly battle, and you know, I wasn't, you know, I was hoping to win, but that's, you know, when you got judges with different palettes and circumstances in the kitchen, uh, you, you never know, right? So two sliced red beer is in the books. Another epic battle tonight between Earls and Sopir. Congratulations again to Chef Pete. Oh, he pulls yeah. out the win. He is off to the finals on March 24th. Uh, by the way, tickets for that event will be going on sale soon at the cookingroom.com website. Yes, and next week's episode, March 17th, that's episode three. Uh, you definitely want to tune in. You can go to shottv.com and check your broadcast times. Um, and of course, the reason why we are doing this is for the women's outreach. Uh, it's very easy. If you can't come to a taping, you can certainly text the word OUTREACH to 45678, and a $5 donation goes on your bill. It's just that simple. Thanks for joining us, and until next time, eat, learn, and enjoy. Sliced Red Deer is sponsored by these local businesses.